My first experience with sciatic nerve pain. This pain was not fun. First, let me explain what I found out what uh, sciatica is. Sciatica is a pain that radiates along the sciatic nerve, which run down one or both legs from the lower back. I did not know anything about this, this type of pain. I didn't even know it exists, but since I experienced this nerve, I had to do a lot of research to find out a little bit more about it, and I'm starting to understand more. This video, I will explain my experience with this nerve pain. This video is one of several videos that is to be followed. I believe I will have about maybe three or four videos. The most will be four, but I don't think I'll do all four. The first video, which is this one, I will explain my sciatic nerve pain experience of the last couple weeks. I decided to create the videos for two reasons. One, I've been posting some of my experiences on social media and small clips here and there during the pain and I wanted people to know what I was really going through and second I realized that uh, this kind of nerve problem is an epidemic I although I'm not an expert on it I want to explain to some people who probably just experiencing it or may want to know a little bit more about it but I want to explain my experience how the nerve pain was affecting me. Pain is not completely gone, but it is not as painful or it's not hurting as much as it was originally. I sort of did a Photoshop mo um, model. I mean, this model, I, I got it online. Um, I saw the highlight uh, pretty much the location of the pain areas. So um, the pain areas are um, highlighted in red and the green area is after the sciatic nerve sort of you know minimized so the pain is not completely gone but every now and then I could feel little statics going through my legs so um, I'm able to function that's why I'm doing this video otherwise before that I will not be able to sit or do anything I will have to put my feet up or get some sort of a massage, have people help me. So the pain was really, really tremendous. It was very painful. I never felt anything like that before. And I had two kids, so it's nothing like that at all. So um, looking at the posterior view, um, which is the back, I put an X on the location of my lumbar spine. This is the area I've had back pain for almost 12 to 15 years. So I've had back pain problem quite a long time and um, this pain location comes and go. Sometime when it hurts, um, I'm unable to do anything. I believe I have one or two videos showing some minor exercises that I did to alleviate the pain in my lower back when it actually came um, at one point. I've learned to manage and avoid certain movements to prevent any back pain in that location. So with the back pain, I sort of know how to handle it. I know what to do. I know what not to do to aggravate the, the nerves in that area. Um, still looking at the posterior view, I've highlighted and I highlighted in red my glutes, some areas of my hamstrings, my calf muscles, and my Achilles. These areas are the location I was feeling the pain when the sciatic started. Uh, it was the first time I've experienced this kind of pain. I was touching and massaging those areas and the pain was much, much deeper. No matter what I did, trying to feel or 
alleviate the pain in that location, nothing was working. It felt like a constant electrical current zapping. It's, I don't know how to explain it. It just felt like an electrical current that just zapping all those areas non-stop. I was, I really don't know how to explain it. I was touching, feeling it. The more that I pressed deeper, nothing was helping. It's like deep, deep inside the, um, my leg. So prior to this pain experience, I had no clue what sciatic pain was. It was after I was touching all those muscles, um, muscles area, massaging and pulling the muscles to alleviate that constant electrical feeling that I realized it was, uh, it must be uh, my nerves that was attacking me like that. I went online to find out what kind of uh, nerves that uh, passes in those location because it was not my muscles that was hurting. The pain was much deeper. It did not take me long to find the answer actually. Once I found out what the nerves, uh, what the nerve was, I continued looking into it and to find out that uh, there are millions of people that have this problem. So now looking at the front of view, I also highlight and read the areas that I was feeling the pain during the sciatic uh, attack, I will say. Some of the areas um, or portion of my quad, not the anterior or the inside portion like the gracialis or the adductors, adductors, that's the inside muscles of my inner thighs, or only portion of my quad, vastus, uh, how do you call this, vastus lateralis muscles, I believe, and some muscles on my legs, uh, on my leg area, I don't remember their names, and on my foot, that's the uh, extensors, I believe they call. So the pain originated from my lower back all the way to my foot, only the left side, only the left side. It was like an electrical current, which I mentioned, that was zapping my left side of my body non-stop. My hip was in pain. I couldn't move to even touch some of the pain area. I felt almost like I was paralyzed. Literally, I was paralyzed. I couldn't do anything. I tried to move. It was more pain on my hips and the leg was zapping with electrical current. Uh, it was horrible. The first day it started, it was the worst because it was the first time I experienced it and it was a non-stop uh, non pain. It started giving me a break on my fourth or fifth day, but because it was not a continuation of electrical zapping on my leg, it gave me a few minutes to, um, of break, then it started all over again. I couldn't even bend down to put my shoes, uh, tie my shoes. And one point I was supposed to go pick up my son from the bus stop. I couldn't even walk out the door. So my, I had to call my husband to go pick up my son. Oh my God, I felt so bad for my son because he was in school all day. And my husband ended up picking him up at close to 7 o'clock because the bus had to go made all the round. Uh, drop all the kids and then went back to the school to drop him off. I felt so bad for him. So that's how bad it was. I couldn't even walk. So some of the cooking that I was able to record, which will be on my second and third video of this sciatic uh, video series, was in between those breaks. So each time I felt uh, the pain sort of gone, but not completely gone but it wasn't as painful but I was able to walk and either to go take a shower or go cook is like a quick thing it's like I knew it was coming again so I rushed to do different things not running I, I still couldn't run but I had to take um, to take the opportunity to do certain things that I needed to do so lastly the portion in green are my joints uh, my knees, my ankle area, and some of my, uh, how do you call this, tibia, that bone in the front of your uh, foot, I believe it's called tibia. So now that I'm feeling a bit better, these areas have become 
weak very very weak I did not use uh, I did not use them for mobility for a couple of days since the sciatica episode my knee actually feels stronger than my ankle my ankle is where I'm feeling the weakness problem so when I'm walking I wish I could find a video online to show well when you're walking you have your you usually plant your heel on the ground and then move your heel back up and just uh, I'll try to find a video and then post it in here and hopefully that will explain what I'm talking about so I can't move my feet up when I'm walking it doesn't hurt much but it's just that uh, I don't have full control of it and its range of motion is limited um, so in other words it does not have its full range of motion um, on my last video of this series I will demonstrate what I'm talking about actually so for now um, this was my sciatic pain situation that's what I was experiencing and uh, I know I'm not 100% clear from it there is a possibility it might return again meanwhile I'm gonna try to find ways that uh, I can I'm gonna try to find certain things that I can do to alleviate the pain if it does return again uh, I'm seeing a doctor that will walk me through this crazy adventure and um, and I hope next time if it does happen not that I'm looking forward to it um, I know what to do to pre um, to alleviate the pain so um, this is a this is the uh, a picture I found online I believe it's from uh, mendmyhips.com I will put the link of this website on the description box um, and you could check their website out actually it explain a little bit more about the sciatic uh, pain and uh, check the website out for further explanation of sciatica um, I will also put other links that I found that sort of helped me understand this medical problem which I sort of put on my social media when it uh, when I first found them so I'll also put some of those links on the description box so anything that could help anybody who's going through it so good luck to others who are experiencing this painful experience I do not wish this on anyone uh, please check the other videos that I will put out the next one will be about my eating I lost a lot of weight during this experience so I wasn't eating the way I normally eat so I lost about I believe 10 to 12 pounds in about a week and a half so check out my next video to see what I did about my weight and uh, you could easily skip the next two videos if you want um, it's the last one that I believe I will explain uh, some of the things, some of exercises that I've been doing to help strengthen my uh, joints, uh, my knees, my ankle, mostly uh, my ankle, um, to help strengthen them. And about a week and a half, I think I'm going to start going back to the gym. They froze my account with no charge. I think that was very nice of them. And um, the reason I haven't gone yet, because I already know mentally once I get there, I'm going to think I could do some crazy shit. So I try to stay away from it for now. And I'm doing some movements to help strengthen the my joints. And once I get back to the gym, I'm going to try to work only on, on machines like the leg press and uh, the, uh, what's that thing? the hamstring curls and some upper body part but so let's see now that I'm talking about it I think once I get back to the gym I'm gonna try to go every other day not every day where I work a different body part like I used to so now I'm gonna switch it up I'm gonna go every other day where I do full body full body only on in the machines where I'll start with my uh, leg strengthen and do some upper body and possibly some um, 
back exercise and a little bit of biceps and triceps to keep them in line with the rest of the body. But the main things that I'm gonna be focus on, focusing on will be my legs. So which will be leg press, hamstring curls, and I probably will do some calf raises. I think they have a seated one. So the seated one will be good uh, for me, not the standing one, because I don't wanna put too much pressure on my lower back. So actually while I'm doing this video, I'm planning on what I'll be doing once I get back to the uh, gym. So, you know, now my uh, mobility is slightly limited, so I'm not gonna go crazy. And yeah, I'll do full body every other day. And uh, I'll start on Monday, skip Tuesday, go on Wednesday, skip Thursday, go on Friday, and then weekends I might just skip it all together, just hang out with the kids. So, yeah, so that was my experience with uh, sciatica. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have experienced something like this, it would be nice to put some comments. And uh, hopefully if some people who are experiencing it for the first time can read some of your comments and some of your experiences. So, yeah. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.